In this example, we use the enthalpy of fusion with the thermal energy transfer equation. Our problem reads, you add a one liter bottle of water to a bucket of ice water. How many grams of ice in the bucket would need to melt to lower the temperature of the water in the one liter bottle originally at 22 degrees Celsius to zero degrees Celsius? Neglect lowering the temperature of the bottle. The density of water is one gram per milliliter. The enthalpy of fusion for H2O is 6.02 kilojoules per mole. The heat capacity of water is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Let's consider a plan of how to solve this problem. The one liter bottle of water is originally at 22 degrees Celsius. When we put it into a bucket of ice water, its temperature decreases to zero degrees Celsius. In our first step, we can calculate the heat associated with changing the temperature of the water. Since this is a change in temperature, we can use the equation heat for the water in the bottle equals mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. In our second step, we can relate the heat to change the temperature of the water in the one liter bottle to the heat for the ice. The bottle of water is transferring thermal energy to melt the ice. So we can use the equation heat absorbed by the ice equals negative heat released by the water in the bottle. Our last step is to calculate how much ice can be melted with this heat. To do this, we'll use the enthalpy of fusion for H2O and dimensional analysis. In order to calculate heat for the change in temperature of the water in the bottle, we'll first need to find the mass of that water. We'll start with one liter of water. We can use the density of water given in the problem as a conversion factor in dimensional analysis to convert from volume to mass. Since the density of water is one gram per milliliter, we have 1,000 grams of water. We can plug this number into our equation for heat, along with the specific heat capacity given in the problem, which is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius, and the change in temperature for the water, which is T final minus T initial, or zero degrees Celsius minus 22 degrees Celsius. Completing the calculation, heat should be negative 9.196 times 10 to the fourth joules. The negative means heat needs to leave the water for the temperature to go down. Our next step is to relate this amount of heat to the heat for the ice. The energy given off by the water is absorbed by the ice, so Q ice equals negative Q bottle. The ice needs to absorb 9.196 times 10 to the fourth joules of heat, so heat is positive for the ice. Next, we can use dimensional analysis to calculate how much ice can be melted with this amount of heat. We'll start our dimensional analysis with 9.196 times 10 to the fourth joules. To use our enthalpy of fusion as a conversion factor, we first need to convert to kilojoules. Then we can use the enthalpy of fusion to convert from kilojoules to moles of H2O. Our last step is to use the molar mass of H2O to convert from moles to grams. Completing the calculation, we see that 275 grams of ice will need to melt to decrease the temperature of the water in the bottle from 22 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius.